Toddlers can be extremely entertaining. It's uh, very interesting to watch them gain self-awareness and, and, and gain insight on their surroundings. Uh, have you ever seen a little child when you tell him to go hide and he simply takes both of his hands and covers his eyes? And when he covers his eyes, he thinks that nobody could see him. Because his eyes are closed and he can't see, he thinks that no one else can see him either, that he's disappeared. But he's really not hiding at all. All he did was cover his eyes. Or, you know, maybe when a child gets older and uh, they run and hide under a blanket, they think simply because that the blanket is covering, covering them that nobody will notice the big lump in the bed. It's obvious that somebody's hiding, right? Or maybe they're outside and they're playing and they hide behind a little sapling thinking that little tiny sapling will cover their big body. It seems very humorous to us as we watch little kids grow in their self-awareness and when they think they're hiding but they're really not. Well, I wonder sometimes if God has the same sort of amusement uh, when we try to hide. In Proverbs chapter 15, Verse 11, it says in the Stones edition of the Tanakh, The grave and perdition are exposed to the Lord, surely the hearts of men. We know that God is omniscient, meaning that he's all-knowing. Um, he's omnipotent, meaning that he's all-powerful. And he's omnipresent, which means he's everywhere. And it says the grave and perdition are exposed to the Lord. You know, the grave, the mysteries of death, the mysteries of the afterlife, we, we can't see it. They're hidden from us. We can't look into those things, but it says they're exposed to God. And if these mysterious things that we uh, finite human beings can't see are exposed to God, how much more so uh, the things that we know about and the things that we are exposed to? What makes us think that we could hide those very things from God? Sometimes we fool ourselves into thinking, oh, well, if I don't verbalize it and I just have this secret thought and I think about it in my mind and in my heart, God won't know. Well, back in the book of Deuteronomy, God warns the children of Israel. He warns them about idolatry. He says, don't even think that on the outside, you know, you can make it look like you're worshiping me and serving me ex exclusively. But in your heart, you say, well... You know, nobody's going to know. I'm going to worship these other gods or honor these other gods in my heart, and surely no one will know, not even the Most High. Well, that's pretty foolish because God is omniscient. If he can see uh, death, hell, and the grave, which lie beyond, which we can't see, and if they're totally known and open and exposed to, to God himself, how much more so our hearts? God knows our, our inner thoughts. He knows um, what we're thinking, what we're feeling. He knows what we're contemplating. He knows what we're going to say before we even say it. So why do we even think that we could hide anything from God? When we think that we can hide something from God and attempt to hide something from God, all we do is deceive and delude ourselves. We lie to ourselves. And you know, that's amazing to me. You know, we lie to other people to protect ourselves. But who would ever think that we would lie to ourselves? Why would we lie to ourselves? Because we want what's best for us. We, we want to protect ourselves. So why would we lie to ourselves? But actually, we do all the time. We lie to ourselves in, in the fact that we try to justify our sins and justify our wrongdoings. And we 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 think or or meditate or harbor something within our heart and mind and think that we're keeping it from God himself and when we pray we use flowery flowery words and 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 we try to impress God with our speech and all the while it's just an act and it's just a show it's it's a it's a facade it's a front it's a it's a farce a fraud God knows it so we might as well confess our feelings and our and our sins and and just totally be open to God because he knows it anyway. When we try to keep something from God by hiding it by the way we pray, we're just lying to ourselves and we're just hiding it from ourselves and we're going to hurt ourselves in the end. God loves us. He wants the best for us. He doesn't want to squash us like a bug. He doesn't want to punish us. He wants to bless us, but he can only do so when we're open with him and when we confess our sins and we're honest with him. And when we're, when we're honest with God, in turn, we're actually being honest and being good to ourselves. Hey, guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day.
God bless. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.